Hello, my name is Ricardo Gutierrez and today I will be going over an ingress pattern in AWS and this pattern will protect a public facing application from malicious actors. So what we have right here, we have a centralized ingress VPC, we have the security VPC and we have the application VPC. So in order to protect the network from the public or the application load balancer, it, we have various options. One of these options is to use Cloudflare in front of the load balancer. You can enable there a WAF, DDoS to protect your application. So once the client hits Cloudflare, the packet will ingress through the Internet Gateway. It'll hit the external application load balancer. This application load balancer has a target group with two IP addresses. These two IP addresses are these web servers right here in the spoke VPC. This pattern right here is using the gateway load balancer architecture and we're using Palo Alto firewalls to inspect all the traffic. So going back to the application load balancer, once the packet hits the ALB, it'll send the packet to the transit gateway. The transit gateway in its route table will have a route pointing to the gateway load balancer endpoints. And it's important to mention that the ALB is in, in this case, it's in AZA and AZB, and so are the endpoints. So once the traffic hits the endpoint, the endpoint will send the traffic to the gateway load balancer. The gateway load balancer sends send the packet to the Palo Alto firewall, and it'll send it to each of these firewalls. We have two in this case. Once the packet is inspected by the firewall, the firewall will send the packet back to the gateway load balancer. This is the same gateway load balancer as this one. And then once the packet hits the gateway load balancer, the gateway load balancer will forward the packet to the gateway load balancer endpoint and then the endpoint will send it to the destination via the transit gateway spoke VPC attachment. And then finally, it'll get to the web servers right here. Uh, it's important to mention that the firewalls have a single interface. Traffic comes in and out of the same interface and it communicates with the gateway load balancer. Here's an example of the web server. I'm hitting the public FQDM from the ALB as an example. And if we refresh the web page, you will see it's hitting the second web server, then the first, then the second, and then the first. Here you can see the ALB, the external ALB, here is FQDN from the URL I just showed you on the web browser and you can see that the ALB is using AZA and AZB. As you can see here is the target group and these are the targets that it's hitting. If you remember these are the IP addresses of the web servers that were shown on the web page. Here you can see the web servers. Web server one is in AZA and web server two in AZB. So that would conclude the demo. With this Terraform code will build an Ingress VPC, route tables, and such. It's creating the VPC. It 
the route tables, internet gateway, subnets, etc. And this is my IntelliJ idea with my Terraform code. You see subnets. public IP addresses, route tables, etc. This code right here builds the gateway load balancer infrastructure and builds Palo Alto firewalls. This code also adds the firewalls to a panorama device group and template stack, so they're auto-provisioned. 